Hey everybody, JJ Wayne here, and I just wanted to tell you about these two episodes. About episode 21 and 22, and how they were recorded using the Mac, the Mac laptop mic. It was another, it's a little problem I always have. It's after going through all of the pre-recording checklists or, okay, I don't, I didn't never did have a chest checklist. It's like, okay, is it plugged in? Is the mixer plugged in to the computer? You turn it on. You think the application will boot up and automatically turn over or switch over to the correct input format. See, that's a lot, a lot of jargon, but enough said the episodes are listenable. They're good. They're decent episodes. I love the episodes, but I just wish they were recorded at better quality. So this is just a sample of the quality that we expect. And the two episodes, 21 and 22, are the episodes where, you know, I just made a mistake. Like always, I have, it's not like it's new to me. I've done it before. So, um, you guys, just, hey, listen up. It's some good stuff. And we're going to, you know, continue to work on our process and uh, keep the episodes sounding how we want them to sound. We always strive for perfection, but, you know, we're never perfect. <laughs> no one is. But, hey, thank you for listening and enjoy the show. Burritos. We're talking with burritos. Burritos. We're talking with burritos. Okay, you guys, this is Talking With Fritos, episode 20, where we talk about movies and things. And that's pretty much it. Now, <laughs> <laughs> and today, we're talking about, what are we talking about? We're going to talk about evolution, debunking evolution, and the good dinosaur, and Flintstones. Anything to do with evolution and how we can change it in movies and cartoons just to fit our own desires and inclinations and or just to humor kids. Which was well, what the Flintstones wasn't really just a human kids. It's more yeah, as it's adult a, satire. Yeah, right? it's about to say it's good for the kids and the adults. It was the yeah. first prime time uh, animated series. Oh, because so it played at night, or did it play at night or uh, evening? Evening. Yeah, interesting. I did not know that. Well, yeah, I can see that. So compare that with like to the Simpsons and stuff, like how which came around a lot later. <laughs> oh, kind much of later. The same thing, you know? Yeah, then we go into the Flintstones once where it was released that one year. It had like 21 episodes. And then they actually ended the run. Yeah. And then they brought it back a few years back. And that's when they actually had their their stay for like four years. They played for like four years. And you watch those cartoons over and over again. Mm-hmm. They're just, they they're, those are the only ones. But yet you're like, oh, this is new. No, it's not. <laughs> I've seen this like a million times. <laughs> they just keep rerunning them. Um, so... Oh, but first, we're going to get into a Christmas review <laughs> with Chris. A Rupal, what do you call them? Yes. A Rupal's Rupees. A Rupal's Rupees, all right. So, Chris, you saw Krampus, and you were very, very much excited about this movie. So, now I'll ask you, sir, did it meet your expectations? It met him and went above and beyond. What? Seriously? I liked it a lot. That damn good. Um, it had a lot of practical effects. Uh-huh. Um, oh. Yeah, a lot That's of practical effects. Thing. That's one of the things that I liked a lot about it. Uh, all the actors I thought were really entertaining. I thought they were very, you know, for what it was worth, I thought they were pretty funny. Because um, <clears throat> Adam Scott was in it. I liked yeah. him a lot. Yeah. Um, I always forget the bald guy name, the bald guy from Anchorman, who plays Tex. I can never remember can his name never, for the life of me. No, Even remember. after watching the movie and seeing the credits, I don't remember his name. Yeah, Paul Rudd. No, <laughs> that's a lot. No, yeah, Paul Rudd. <laughs> but yeah, everyone gave a great performance. Even the kids gave a great performance. I wasn't annoyed by them. Um, and I thought the idea was it was interesting. Like it felt like kind of a, kind of a um, it, it's a good Christmas horror film, horror comedy. Okay, yeah. Um. <clears throat> The one thing that I'm a little disappointed about with it, though, was um, uh, some of the deaths were off screen, so you didn't get to see a lot of them. Is it because it's PG thirteen? I think that's. Oh, a dude. Yeah. Okay. So that that's a be, bummer. But at the same time, it kind of leaves you feeling kind of unsettled because it's like a lot of t- it's toys killing them. 
Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. So it's kind of creepy that way. Because those are like his little henchmen. He doesn't have like elves. Yeah, he, he does to- actually have elves. Oh, too. he has elves as yeah, well? they're like these midgets who are like com- completely covered in like hoods and shit and have like uh, actual Krampus masks from Klu- like uh, Germany they- and stuff. Really? Yeah. Are they Ku Klux Klan? No. <laughs> Do I, elves? I said, I said you cloaks. said hoods. I said cloaks. No, I, I heard hoods. I meant cloaks. So I just pictured like a whole bunch of little... <laughs> Elf, Ku Klux Klan, Ku Klux Klan elves, <laughs> and I'm running around. How fucking terrifying would that be? Just this little elves, and they have all these like hoods and shit on. <laughs> little Grandmaster elf with the black one. And <laughs> it's like I don't know. But he usually usually has a big white one. I don't know, but they're scary. But yeah, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I went off. <laughs> that, was, that was way. No, seriously, yeah, I just pictured it because because you said I thought you said hood, but I guess you did say cloak, but I just I heard what I wanted to because yeah. the imagination was there. <laughs> like, oh shit, how frightening would that be? Um, so what was I going with? That? I don't know. <laughs> why I did you know. why did you read adult that again? I lost track. Um, I was I was talking about like the practical effects and like the monsters and stuff. Yeah, uh, I thought the, the the monster toys were pretty creepy. Like, there's like this one teddy bear that's really yeah, that one's kind of stereotypical. It's a giant. Like teeth and shit, but yeah. it's so creepy. Uh, there's like this jag in the box with like an open mouth thing. Oh, it's like really yeah. creepy, and it kind of was like a snake. It would eat like it ate a kid whole. No oh, damn. Yeah, and it's like it's like the the jack in the box, like the, the spring part that it's in. You know, like the cloth yeah. covering it. Like you can see the kids like run, like kind of like poking through and stuff. Oh, nasty. Yeah. So like you do when you see a serpent, like or exactly. a snake Just or like something, snake, yeah. like a bow or eats like a. Like in Wilder Beach or something, you know? Yeah. And you just see it in the stomach. That is so <laughs> disgusting. Uh, but, um, so, for everyone who doesn't know, who, who is Krampus? Krampus is... Krampus. Is it Krampus? I think it's I told Krampus. someone yesterday it was Krampus. I think it's Krampus. It's Krampus? Yeah. Okay. Don't is it German? Krampus my style. Is it, it like, does it have it's any... German. Is it German? Okay, so the, those are the origins of the yeah, it's Krampus. it's German... Uh, it's, it, he was like a partner of Santa Claus... He's less of like the shadow of Santa Claus. He's more. He was a partner. With oh, Santa, okay. Where he would punish the wicked while Santa would give toys to the good. You know? Yeah. And it was mostly just like pat, you know, spankings and stuff. You know, oh, okay. So it's, it's a. It was like a good way to reinforce the whole "be good for goodness sakes." Yes. <laughs> Instead of us, it's like, oh, you get on the naughty list. No, Krampus will visit you and spank your little ass. Little bastards, and so that's so. Why haven't the Germans made a movie Krampus, or have they? I think they have. I'm not sure though. I'm not 100. percent Interesting. Why are we making that stuff? I don't know. It's a German folklore. But why don't they do it? I bet you they could probably do it better. I I bet you it would be not bloodier. Yeah, probably. (laughs) Uh, You know, one thing that I liked was uh, the grandma was the was is German. She's speaking German throughout almost. Nice. Okay, so So they took it back to the roots. Yeah, and there's actually this fantastic stop motion animated scene in the middle of the movie really? explaining her backstory with Krampus. Oh, oh see, now I have to watch yeah. it just for that. Yeah. That is genius because yeah. you said practical effects and then they threw in some stop motion which takes a lot of effort. Oh, yeah. And, and plus the old lady speaking German. They like, had the it The only right. time she speaks English is like... I am so it's like In like probably like past the middle point. Uh-huh. And like there's just a really dumb joke of like finally she speaks fucking English. You know, yeah. Like that just yeah. Funny. From the old end. So, how does this, um, how does it be a rated PG-13? You know, it did. Okay, because wouldn't you like more maybe curse words or more, yeah, I know you said more, cutaway they scenes. They did have a lot of swears. There was oh. a lot of like assholes being slung and Okay, yeah, yeah. What you can get away with on network television yeah. nowadays. I was watching, what, was it USA or something, but they just kept saying asshole. Yeah. He just kept calling this guy an asshole. I'm like. Wow, okay, we're getting pretty lax now on <laughs> cable <laughs> television. Jeez, okay. Well, I that's basic cable. Yeah, yeah, it it's not even extended. <laughs> it's not even HBO, man. We get this on regular stuff. You can just change the channel to, like, you know, you can get that on, like, your HD antenna. Okay. Maybe not. But, uh, <laughs> so. Um, I think, like, it didn't really need to be rated R. I think it, oh, okay. I think it was successful being a PG-13 film. Uh, with getting away with like it didn't really need to show the gore and stuff. Yeah, like, I think blood on the snow. Ooh, oh, yeah, the splatter on the yeah. snow. Yeah, <laughs> seen that trick before. And then like, it kind of makes sense. It was PG thirteen. Well, I don't know. Like the ending's weird. There's like four different endings, kind of thing. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Because the kid gets left left alone, 
And because, like, he was the last survivor. Ooh. So I say spoiler? Yeah. Total spoiler. <laughs> okay. Spoiler. <laughs> this whole thing's a spoiler. Krampus kills everybody with his dingling because he's German. Why would he do that? He wouldn't because it's... Well, you know, if you're a bad kid, yeah, you better stop that. You yeah. get molested. He <laughs> molested for Christmas. That's horrible. I don't even know why I said that. Um, <laughs> so, alright, you guys. I say, just for those, like, the three things that I pointed out. The old lady speaking German. The stop motion animation. And what was the other one? Practical effects. And the practical effects. Hell, I want to see this movie. I kind of I kind of wanted to see it before. But now I think he sold me on it. Because Chris, he's pretty good. He likes his horror movies. Yep. He and so he was waiting for this for a while. So I'm pretty sure he came out. He's, he's smiling now because usually he'll tell you if it's fucking horrible, yeah. and he won't have a, <laughs> something to say about it. So, so now that he he said he's come out and say something good about it, I would recommend it. Now, I would say go see it based I on his recommendation. Yep. So, all right, you guys, that's been a Rupo Rubies. All right, now we're gonna go back to like the main show. And I'm Which wasn't really like, you know, official, but they're probably part of this discussion with Good Dinosaur. And I got a feeling that we're going to have to watch something really horrible now. I don't give a fuck what it is because I don't want to talk about cartoons anymore. We did fucking Charlie Brown. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm cursing a lot that right now. But we did Charlie Brown. And, Charlie and, Brown and, yeah. and now we're doing uh, Good Dinosaur. Like, what kind of show is this? Like, it's kind of weird. It's a show for kids. So I'm going to try to down it. Holy <laughs> fuck, yeah. I'm going to try to stop cursing so much. going to be talking about this good, wholesome movie. Which is not even rated PG. Is it PG? It's probably PG just from thematic, yeah, PG. Um, you know, violence or horrific images uh, or traumatic is a situations. Choice. Yeah. Or however they phrase those things. You should always read. Like, if you guys really want to, like, get a kick out of, like, some of these movie dramatic, posters. Dramatic, uh, yeah. Dramatic yeah. Moments. Just read what they have to put in the description. I'm pretty sure someone's sitting up there, like, with it before. It's like, you know what? Let's just let's just take some dictionary words, put it in here right. <laughs> for a description to describe bad language. <laughs> my, my favorite one is brief male nudity. Yeah, brief male nudity or some drug use. I've yeah, seen that. Yeah, that some, drug use. Some, some drug use, <laughs> use of cigarettes. Yeah, like what the really? Do we have to break down every little bad thing that might be in it that you might construe like? Conceive as bad to the movie, break it down into like this one little sentence to warn people. I'm like, this is one like one time <clears throat> this lady come and uh, comes and talks to me about what movie was that? It was Brave. It was Brave, and she was so offended. Yeah, by the little tights by her behinds. <laughs> no, she was. Wow, they, really? Yeah, she was totally up seat, up in my face. Okay, up at my chest because she wasn't that tall, but she was so offended. That they had nudity in this film. Yeah, I'm like, uh, and I couldn't say anything. I was so, I was like, well, this is a new one. Well, you can contact Disney because they made the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. And it's made in PG, so they have some questionable scenes in there. And, you know, if you read the poster, they usually have the description. If it doesn't say brief nudity, and I think they actually put it on there yeah. uh, as brief nudity because it was little babies behinds. Yeah. But, in theory, in my I head, I don't remember that scene at all. Oh no! Yeah, the little boys. Once they be t- once they turn from little bears a little boy, into little boys yeah, yeah. again, they just running around butt ass naked. <laughs> you just see the tail end of their little hineys yeah. running around chasing the old lady because they turn because they were messing with the old lady as uh, little cubs, yeah. and so they running around chasing their house attendant or whatever you want to call her. Um, and then they turn back into like little boys, and they just running around bare ass naked. Um, but yeah, it's like really offended. I could not say anything. I was just like, it's, it's a cartoon? <laughs> well, well, I'm sorry. All right. So, she didn't see me? Yeah, yeah. They didn't, they didn't turn around. They didn't yeah. do full frontal, like full Monty yeah. uh, on you. <laughs> so, you know, be thankful for that. No? Okay, you want to You want to you want boss's car? <laughs> okay. Here you go. <laughs> sorry. Uh, but, so... Okay, we. I just saw the good dinosaurs. Chris saw it last week. 
And we were going to talk about this because Chris had a theory about Flintstones and the, di- and the Good Dinosaur. But then after the movie, his little theory just kind of fell sh- way short of like actually explanation or or juxtaposition of the two. So tell him what your initial concept was. My, my initial concept was <laughs> I thought that the little boy and like all the humans would evolve. And then all the dinosaurs would become their little appliances, just like in the Flintstones. <laughs> and it would be an Orton story pre Flintstones. It didn't really turn out that way. No. It took a totally left turn with that mm-hmm. concept. So, okay. What did you think about the movie initially? I just want to. Because. I thought it was all right. Yeah. It's just all right. It's just all right. Yeah. So, with me, I'm thinking. I like the. I like the whole frontier aspect of it because it added, yeah. added something different to it. It wasn't just them within this environment. They actually had a culture or a cultivation, you know. Uh, is it a culture or a society? Or what would you call that? They kind of have like the beginnings of, uh, I don't know, really. It's, it's kind of hard to like explain it because there's no like real houses except for theirs. You only see one house in the whole yes, thing. Yeah, on shelter. You know? Yeah, it's just one. Even even the the T Rexes who are like freaking herders yeah. and ranchers, they don't even have a real house. Honestly, they just they just sleep wherever because yeah. they herd the the buffalo. Yeah, which looks weird. I would have think like they that that like the the, the prehistoric buffalo would be a little bit more menacing or larger. They look like standard. Well, but I guess in comparison to a T Rex. I mean, they're big. I mean, look at Arlu. They were. Yeah, Arlu. they were. Tar- yeah, I didn't even think about that because yeah. oh my goodness! But that one scene with the sun, uh, the sunset, and they were running. Oh, oh yeah. that was beautiful. But there's one thing to say about this movie. It was damn beautiful. Oh, yeah, the art really nice. was awesome. But my thing is, most likely they're just gonna get the award based on the fact that they're. Pixar. Well, Inside Out was Pixar also. I know. I but see, it's so, isn't that sad that they're up against themselves now? Yeah. It really <laughs> so, is. But, that's, but see, we've, we've seen uh, better movies mm-hmm. fall to their um, supreme the, the dominance. The whole Disney Pixar thing. You know, we have seen it. Like, that one year where Paranorman should have won. Yeah. It was uh, legitimately like, par- uh, like, because Brave, right? All the movies that were lined up for that one were way better than Brave. Yeah, like, yeah, because then they have a good, in, like, it was like a good, like, little independent, like, 2D animation that was out there that was yeah. very well respected, very well criticized, mm-hmm. but yet, Disney there, got there it that like, year. Paranorman, yeah. Pirates Band of Misfits, Kung Fu Panda 2 or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. Yeah. Uh, you know, so, like, three of them right there. Yeah, there, Kung Fu Panda had a lot. It was How to Train Your Dragon, or no, was that no, the No, that year? was the year before. That, was it two? Two. How to train? How to train your dragon too? No, 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 that was after. Oh, was it after? Okay. Yeah, there, there was like. A but even that year is like that. That one lost to a Pixar movie. Yeah, I believe. But um, my thing is, it's a great movie in the sense that it was good. But I, was, I've seen the story before. Yeah. Fightful. Fightful. With Homeward Bound. Well, you saw. Uh, I, I think didn't I tell you that I thought they were trying too hard to be uh, too much like a Don Bluth film. You yeah. Know? Yeah, yeah, like, I hear you. With the sadness, no one yeah. that's dying. Yeah, so. it's like, is that a trope now? Is that something that you have to give us? A parent dying? Yeah, <laughs> like, apparently. Like, if we go, uh, apparently. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I I don't know. What do you think about the state of Pixar now based on this movie? I mean, Inside Out, I thought was really good. Yes, yeah, yeah. Versus this one, just looked nice and kind of felt catered to the kids. Like, yeah. I mean, no, I mean, well, the okay. family's good and stuff, but it felt very juvenile compared to like the lesson in Inside Out. Yes, you know, but it still had down the line, you know. Yeah, yes, it was just like pretty much the same lesson. Like fear, you need fear. That's what a lot of people, you know, you need to fear. You need fear because you need to overcome it. You know. <laughs> Sorry, all I can think of now is like. The the little uh the the inside out characters inside Arthur's mind. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn! They should have did that at the end of that movie. Right. <laughs> that would have been great. Oh my goodness, you're right. That would have been so awesome. Just little dinosaurs in his head, with all oh, with like different hairstyles and glasses. <laughs> That'd be so cool. I hope they do something like that. I know. Uh, um, Fixer, we're giving you this one. Yeah, there you go. Just threw you a bone. But but you have to answer us one question, Pixar. Why did they have chickens? Why did the chicken 
Why did they into this movie? <laughs> yes. Why they got chickens? I was you. You asked me that before, yeah. and I was in this movie. I'm like, why the fuck do they have chickens? <laughs> I don't understand. Why do they have chickens? Why do they have chickens? I don't understand they it don't, either. It's they don't eat chickens. Eat, it's obviously he doesn't eat meat. He even like they even go through a scene where like uh, the little boy's bringing him like food, and then he won't eat them because they're meat. Yeah. So why? And then my question was too: Why didn't the little boy eat the chickens? Yeah. Like, you know, like a chicken hawk. Yeah. <laughs> like the little chicken hawk like character. Corn. Yeah, he just eats corn. But uh, you would think the chickens are too big. Well, he fought. No, he, he fought. fought. Yeah, yeah, he did, yeah. He's got some skills. Yeah, the little boy has some skills. He was on his own, man. He was no, because the there were so many of them. I guess. But in my theory, like like a fox. Yeah. Like a sly fox. You would think that, you know, he would just enter the coop and because it was just like a little fence. They just had a little fence around them. But he was taking off red bricks and then going inside this this, this um, shelter, silo. you know. Yeah, this with this food. Corn silo. Corn silo. Oh, there you go. You actually put it on the movie. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so, and eating, you know. So, it's just like, huh, why didn't he just eat that chicken? Because, you know, he would have been fuller yeah. for a lot longer, <laughs> in my opinion. The fucking corn just runs through you. And, I don't know. I thought the character designs were kind of weird when you started seeing more of the other dinosaurs. Like, when you got those pterodactyls, yeah. they looked really cartoony. The style, they did look, yeah, yeah, they were cartoony. You were, they did take artistic licensing on that one and just, they did make them less threatening, I would say. Yeah. They could have made them a little bit more, based on their attitudes. Oh, yeah. And just the dark side of them. How you just, like, how, you know, it's like all comical. You thought they were just goofy. And for that cartoony look, yeah. They fit, that but then once when they once, the, once they lifted the shade up yeah. or or to put the shade over, it, it's like, oh, these are these are some dark efforts, man. They they're kind of scary now. Yeah, because when you look at like what? the fuzzy animal that they saved, and then that next room, it just doesn't look right. Yeah, I hear you. you know? Yeah, we <laughs> saved them. <laughs> oh, the storm provides. Storm provides. <laughs> oh, if so they need a sn- I hope they quote that in the next Mad Max. Yeah, uh, the story. <laughs> there you go. Now I don't know what, who produced that movie. We just threw you another George one. Miller. There you go, George Miller. Do <laughs> <Star> that. <provides. laughs> but um, what else did you like about the film? Besides the art and um, uh, characters. The characters are eh, they're really bland. Yeah, and that's like, what I'm kind I of like missing from Sam that. Elliot as a T Rex. That was really oh, fucking. Isn't cool. it just great? Because you know Samuel all about Lewis. all the westerns and stuff, and yeah. it's like he fit so perfectly into that role. Yeah. It was beautiful. Because who else did they had like Anna Paquin was yeah. the girl dinosaur. Like uh, the mom was just the mom. For, uh, what's her face from Fargo? I can never remember her name. It's like right there. I like C letters. I see the letters. Don't you hate that? When you see the letters. Okay. Well, maybe it'll come to me later. If you hear me just shout out real loud, then you know I got it. <laughs> did you did you think did I tell you what, what I what I almost did during the dad's scene? The dad's death. What? I almost cracked up laughing. Oh. Cause I thought it was really funny. Why? Because he just got like that. That was horrible, sir. I that was funny. What the hell is wrong with you? I just, I almost <laughs> bursted out laughing. I went, oop! And like, had to cover my face. Really? Yeah. That was funny. That was not funny to me. I didn't think it was sad. I didn't think it was... Because you saw it coming from a mile away. You saw it, yeah. I didn't see it, I didn't, I didn't take it as sad. I was just like, yeah, I know what's happening. They're going to kill off that dinosaur. But, it, so, uh, I don't know. To the point where things become predictable, I don't like that. Yeah. But you see these movies and you know this person's going to die. It's... I wonder if they just have a formula now because it worked before killing off that one old lady in the beginning of Up. And now I got a feeling that everyone wants no, to try to do something like, like that. that. No? It's like a Frontier movie because a lot of Frontier movies always have like the dad dying or something, you know? Yeah. Or the dad going away on a cattle on like old Yeller, you know? Yeah. And the boy having to learn how to be a man. I guess in the absence of his father. I suppose. But... No. I think it's contrived nowadays. And people just want to do that because it's, you know, they want to try to make you cry. But my thing is, I was thinking about this before, I was so rudely interrupted by that feline with the production of this movie. Because it was, they fired their original director. Did they? Writer. 
of this film. They another, did. Another one yeah, one last year. That's why it was so delayed. Yeah. Because they fired him and they had to start from scratch. Mm. So, huh. in I, my opinion... I didn't know this was another it, production of Pixar Pixar. Yeah. It looks like it was just pieced together. Yeah. And they hit... They're like, okay, well, we need this, we need this, but we need to get it out. Because... It's because they have a schedule of movies they need to work on. You have to think that they have all these different people working on these different projects, and then boom, you know you're this. You are you with Disney, you know. What I'm saying you got to yeah. you got to be on point. It's like boom, we got to release this. We're gonna release this, and so it was pushed back. We weren't supposed to have two movies this year. Yeah, because they, they didn't have yeah. one last year, so that's why. Yeah, that. and so this is the one they were supposed to release last year, mm-hmm. and so they had to re up with a new director. A long time. Ago. Yeah. It's been like yeah. a year and a half. Yeah. You know, since they were supposed to like release this movie. So you think that had anything to do with it? With that, it? That's all they really Because the story was kind of just meek, man. Very meek. They should they could have done a lot more with it. Really could have, yeah. And they Honestly, had the art could, there. If they had fixed up the models a bit, I think also like to actually make it seem like the art the art in between, like, character-wise and background-wise, maybe it could have been a little more even with those two. Yeah. If they had more time. Yeah. And then... Well, they had a lot of time. Well, no, because if they messed up the... Yeah, it, no, they was just pieced together. Them. It could have... You... It felt like they pieced some stuff, and then they got some more stuff. Like, they were like, we want to make a Frontier film. Yes. Yes. But they also wanted to make a boy and a dog film. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. There it's you thing. go. Yeah. It's a boy and a dog uh-huh, film and a yeah. Frontier film mixed together. And they should have ripped off Old Yeller. It should have just took Old Yeller? They should have took the Old Yeller. <laughs> and they were going for that... <laughs> making it's, people it's cry that sentiment. It's like Pixar to take, you know, ideas from other stuff, you know? True, yeah. You know, and also, you know, help improve it and also, you know, learn from those mistakes yeah. from previous films. Yeah. You know, it wouldn't hurt if they did Old Yeller. It's just Disney. Oh, no, it's all Disney property, <laughs> so they could have just did it. Just made... Oh, but then the little boy would have to die. He's got rabies, son. You gotta bash him with a fucking stick. <laughs> oh, that was kind of horrible. Yeah. The way with the you did with that pumpkin. pumpkin. I was just <laughs> like, oh, crap. Think about that. If you did that to a, the little human boy, the little critter, that would hurt. So what about this whole, what do you think about the whole debunking evolution thing? Right. So, like, a bit that. I don't, I don't like the whole us becoming pets. I don't think that would happen. You know, because honestly, like, oh, well, well, no, like, um, well, we are, we with, weren't yet at the thaws. We were kind of just remember the well, we weren't, like, we didn't exist yet, yeah, around that time. This had to have happened like a bunch of years later, later, yeah, just after the dinosaurs. I'm guessing when this time came, period came around, like, I have no clue. Like, was it Paleolithic or the like, we, ne- we ne- Nelio, is it Neolithic or something? You know, but like, this seems like really. Super like further along, further along, yeah. and it, honestly, the dinosaurs wouldn't be like this. They wouldn't be the same. They weren't. No, we like had that. big tigers and stuff like saber tooth and stuff and well, things like that, needed, right? It's animals just forming because they needed something new. Yeah, know? and with these dinosaurs and stuff, they wouldn't be dinosaurs. They would actually become more human-like. Yeah, that's the thing. Because like, there's actually a theory about uh, trudons. There are species of dinosaurs that are really, really smart, and they would have probably yeah, be- evolved into. Uh, with the big domes? No, that's those are uh, Cory Dons. Oh, know. okay. <laughs> I can't believe I know guys' names. Uh, <laughs> dork. <laughs> <laughs> you like dinosaurs? You like dinosaurs? Little boys. You, you like dinosaurs? You like dinosaurs? Because little boys love dinosaurs. Oh, well, they were cool. They are. Shit. They are. Cool. Yeah, they are. Because <laughs> they're really like, come on, go ahead. But no, Trudons are supposed to be this really smart dinosaur, and they would have evolved into like these reptilian kind of like human-like creatures. That's like a theory from somebody. Oh. You know, there's actually this whole. I think he actually wrote a whole book about it. Swamp Thing. Yeah. No, it wouldn't have been Swamp Thing. The Lizard. It would have Yeah, kind of like the Lizard from The Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. Except without the long tail. Yeah. I think it would have been a short tail. Oh, so he's just... He'd just be like lizard-like reptilian. Yeah. But yeah, a reptilian human. Yeah. So like something I saw in like maybe... Like so Star like Trek. Obama. Like Star Trek he's or a something, hidden right? Didn't they have those man. like lizard people? Wait, no, no. It'll be like V. V! Yeah. Like V! Oh! <laughs> I <laughs> love me so me. We got to talk, talk about me later on. <laughs> oh my goodness, me was. Oh, do they have that on Netflix? I don't know. Maybe. Oh my goodness, that was. 
damn good, good show. That was awesome I watched that show. shit when it was playing on that TV back in the 80s. Scary as hell. All right, yeah, all right. Cool. I found that on a recorded VHS at home. Oh, did you? <laughs> what is this? Plug it in I'm like, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> did oh, you think God. it was Bardo first? <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's 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 that's
You know, honestly, Start a discussion. I just don't think that the whole dinosaur. I don't think the dinosaurs would have stayed the same. I don't think there'd be T Rexes and Brontosauruses and these pterod- pterodons or whatever the fuck those guys were. I don't think they would be the same and just be talking now. That's that's like the only difference. They're the same except they're talking and they're a bit smarter. That's it. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, I don't think that's what would have happened. I, honestly, I think dinosaurs were actually becoming smaller at that point. Yeah. During the the what was it? The last period is Cretaceous. Cretaceous, I think so. Yeah. For the dinosaurs. So when did they actually die? During that period? It was during that period. Yeah, that's yeah. when the comet hit the Earth, right? Yeah. And just. Is it? And it was like scientists everything. are saying it wasn't just the comet. It was also like. Nat. It was natural. Natural stuff also was killing them up. See, that's yeah. what I liked about this movie because they did touch on that. With the storms happening, because you think about like planets, yeah. like you think about Mars, even the Martian watching them, watching the Martian, they have evidence of these storms, these really horrific storms that that happen on these planets just based on the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. And you think about us back then, like just the Earth, how it was, and, like these things like, could happen. I just realized something: the the water, yeah, they're really close to the water, yeah. Okay, and that's when the mudslide happened. Don't you think their house would have been swept away? Because they were really close to the river. They were. And I was wondering why it was... I thought he was going to come home and they were gone. Yeah. Because that should have been what happened. There's been so much fucking like... Because it said follow the storm. So they were following the storm. And that storm was nearby. Very nearby. Yeah. And so what it was... Wasn't it... it, Wasn't it like a heat storm of sorts? Like... Because didn't it just totally evaporate that river? Because he was there at that river. And then all of a sudden the storm happens. That's when he freaked the fuck out and he yeah. hid. And then there was no river. Yeah. It's kind of like that storm. Or if you look at like on away. Mars and stuff. He swept away though. That was the thing. Was he, he just got, swept away? I think he just got swept away by the wind. Because there was like a lot of wind. No, before. no. Because he hunkered down. Yeah. In those trees. And that's where yeah, he that's stayed. Right, that's right. Yeah. And so if you see these puddles and these geysers. It seemed like there was a lot of geysers in the beginning of the movie. You see, like, um, they're just popping up. And that's usually what happens when things get covered, yeah. when water is covered by, like, molten, like, um, materials. So it could have been volcanic eruptions. Yeah. You know, and then the air fills with all that heat and some of that ash, and then boom. It just seems like it's something, that storm. I know there was evidence of certain things like that happening on different planets, but it's just. So, like, contains so much heat, so that when it comes through, it totally evaporates everything in its, in its wake. So, I don't know, but it just seems like that's what happened to that river, because he had it there, it was there, but then it was gone. And you just saw these calcified, like, puddles, it seems, of just where it used to be, but they look glacier-like, like, not like a geyser-like, yeah, like, you know, like they were covered up and or evaporated. I don't know, it's weird. Yeah. So I'm thinking something like that happened. Because, yeah, it totally just... Oh, shit. Uh, totally just ravaged everything. Mm-hmm. Huh. Because that was just a storm on that one. But then, you know, the other one was just like the, you know, Russian waters coming from where it was just like, you know, too much rain, too much rain, too much rain. So the waters came through and that's what took out his pops. Yeah. And that's what he had to overcome that fear on the last one. It's weird that he just totally did a 180 on that. It's like, oh, they put it like, oh, this, he has to overcome this. It made it very simple. Mm-hmm. Very simple. I guess, you know, that's the audience you're going for. But for us adults who are used to a little bit more complexity in their storytelling, a little bit more deepness, a little bit more deep thought, we, I don't think it, they gave us much of that. You know, I think, yeah, just like you said before, pretty much catered to, like, more to, uh, the, younger to the younger audience versus audience. the whole family. Yeah. Because, yeah, it didn't really, it was just a kid and his dog. Yep. So it was, why bother with you know, with us, with the inside out, it's more so, you know, dealing with parents, going through certain things. It's like, okay, you can relate to that, you know, just mm-hmm. moving to a different place and ha- having to deal with a kid who's, you know, not telling you everything, how they're feeling, and, you know. So, yeah. Huh. Interesting. Ratatouille was about a mile. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting here deep thought, like, yeah. So, okay. What about other four? I was thinking about another Frontier movie. What about uh, Fight for Goes West? Fight for Goes West. I was actually thinking about that the other day. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> it just comes up in kind of this conversation. It should because, I don't know, it, it just seemed like, why did he go west? Yeah, why did they go west? <laughs> why did they go west? Weren't they New Yorkans? Yeah, they were going to New York. New Yorkers, you know? Or were they going to... They're wait, settlers, right? Wait, weren't they coming from Russia? 
Yeah, they're migrating. So would they have gone from Russia to like San Francisco or? We don't know watch. But why do people always have to die? <laughs> Cause that <laughs> land before time. Like, uh, why? why? Well, no one died in in any of the five old films, right? Except for the bad guy. I thought no, no, you know, I thought the no, he didn't die. He, he met his papa. Yeah, he found his papa. Papa. Yeah, papa. Oh, him saying papa all the time. Fucking, it's very, very fucking. Um, God damn, I can't remember the title of the films now. American Tale. American Tale, yes. Sir. God, why did I forget the tales? <laughs> I don't know. So, what else we got? Somewhere. No, we don't have that. Oh. <laughs> what else is on the list? So, well, we didn't. We, we, we were going to talk about evolution, but yeah, you know, we pseudo evolution. We were talking about here, like debunking but, uh, evolution. You know what but else I thought was weird. Okay, about, what? Um, Good Dinosaur was when the little boy went with the other family. That was obviously not his family. No, it's not his family, no. But I'm thinking, I was thinking about that too. And yeah. I was like, okay, tribals, tribes, they do do not that. really a tribe. They're a pack, like wolves. Like pack of wolves, yeah, but wolves will accept, well, they do accept, accept like wanderers. Yeah, if, that's true. Especially cubs. Yeah. A mother will take in a cub. But it was kind of weird because the dad will, because usually the alpha would see him as a threat, yeah. even uh, even though he was small. But I think they were catering more towards the sensibilities of humans. Maybe. Like, because, you know, when they, you know, the whole rub, gripping, uh, like, you know, caressing his face and, and you know, handling his face, you, it, it just, that seemed more like that was the humis, hum, hum, human side. The, the human side of them. Like, okay, we are, they, they weren't just critters. They were people. They, you know, I don't know. Is expressing that more so with this family element. Yeah. And that... But how could they have sensed? Maybe they heard his wailings. Maybe. You know, because, you know, they howl like wolves and, you know, you hear that. And Mm -hmm. maybe they were trying to find him all along because they heard his cry. They maybe knew what happened. Maybe they were friends (laughs) back in the day in the neighborhood. You know, like, hey, what happened to your pack? they, They all died. And my son was lost, and maybe they went on a quest to look for him. Now, we need a good dinosaur, too, with the family that was looking for the little boy dinosaur. I mean, the critter. Dog. Person. That kind of annoyed me. I don't know why. I just didn't like the fact that he was, like, dog-like. I was like, <laughs> no. I can understand him walking on all fours and doing things like that. Animalistic, because, you know, evolution. Yeah. But not, not marking wolfing territory. and marking territory yeah. and stuff. You know, they just did and that also, for like, the... the whole smelly thing. I'm like, really? Yeah. Humans never had that. Yeah, no, I don't I don't believe... I In all the con- the text I've read, we never... Well, scientists say we never really did that. Yeah. You know. We were visual creatures. So yes. Our eyes. Yeah. Well, that kind of bothered me a little bit. Right. But yet, it's still kind of... You know, had me a little bit at the end. Like, oh, this kind of sad. This kind of... You know. It's but, okay. Okay. Yeah. Especially when the mom sees him, it's just like, Henry... Like you could tell, like yeah. he was walking with a little swagger, you know, that like he'd been through some shit. Like, yeah, ma, I done killed like a hundred people, <laughs> like that. He's like that soldier that comes back from war, the Civil War, and he comes back over to his farm. <laughs> and everyone looks, oh, John Boy, and John Boy's like all tattered, like walking with his head up, like yeah, I got bodies on me right now. <laughs> I got bodies in my ledger. I got some red in my ledger now. I done killed like a million people. <laughs> Like, I don't care. He went on a murder. I, I don't think that. He went on a murder rampage. Just stabbing and killing people in the war. He just keeps having flashbacks and shit. Sorry. But you're, you're saying that he's proud. <laughs> but now you're saying he's having fucking. Oh, no, he's crazy. He's crazy initially. But, you know, he's walking with his head up because he's proud. He's a man now. Because, you know, before he left for the war, they were just like, oh, he's a bitch. Like, even his brother. Like, was picking on him, like, oh, I can scare you because you're a chicken. Uh, chicken, chicken. And I think that was just, maybe the chickens were there as symbolism to who he was, his character, because he... And let the chickens go. Because we he wasn't... Need you anymore. Uh, yeah, because he wasn't... Because he was a chicken, basically. He was a chicken. He was scared of everything. This dude was scared of... I, I, was it Alloy? Aloy? What the hell is his name? Arlo. 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 Arlo was afraid of everything. And so I think 
chickens were there just as, as symbolism to his character. That's bad. That's totally true. reaching. It's totally, you're totally. Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, we got to find out a reason for these damn chickens in this movie. Everyone, there is no reason if no one's going to eat the damn chicken. Eggs? We pick no on one made eggs, stuff. so I don't know. Why do I you? I never collected eggs? eggs or anything. Yeah, so what the hell does a chicken do? Right across the road. To get to the other side. Yeah. Where the zombies are. So we can get to the other side of this movie. About yeah. why they're fucking chickens. Somebody please. Answer that damn question because I don't know. I don't know either. I don't really know. Actually, maybe I can ask my neighbors across the street. They have chickens. I can be like, "Hey, is there any reason why you would yeah have like that wouldn't be for food?" And they didn't, really keep, of... they didn't really keep them as pets either because you know. But they had to feed them. Yeah, that's it. You know, I mean, that's it. <sighs> they just fed them, kept them in the, the cage. Well, they they're not pigs. Were they supposed to be like pig like? Because they kept them in pens oh, and not a coop. They couldn't build it. They had shelter. <laughs> they didn't build for them. They had shelter too. They had their bushes. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, they did. A, they had little huts. Was yeah. it? Didn't it look like little huts or no, something? They had like little bushes. They lived in the bushes. Huts. Little bushes. Those were scary looking chickens though. They were. They look like big ass turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> Without all the feathers. Yeah. <laughs> they look like just a mangy turkey. <laughs> Tur- turkey with mange. <laughs> that's basically what the dinosaur chicken looked like. That's what the Trudons look like. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that's what they were supposed to be. The fucking, uh, the cattle rustlers. Yeah. They stole the cattle. Yeah. He's oh. like, oh, now. Yeah, it's just with like random oh. feathers and I'm stuff. Just as bad as you. I know, right? <laughs> I don't recognize the number, so I'm not going to freak out. <laughs> Did you say you're not gonna freak out? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pick up. Oh, okay. This is a four eight zero number. Oh, that's Phoenix. Yeah. Ish area. It could be telemarketing. My wife oh. got someone from Phoenix yesterday, saying you won like a sweet face. I'm like, yeah, quick. Sweet. Click. All right, Chris. So what else do we have? Um. Yabba dabba doo. Oh, you want to talk about voice songs? No, I got nothing for voice right now. Yeah, we have nothing in context. You know, some of these just fell to the wayside. We have nothing in context to the good dinosaur that would make any damn sense. <laughs> okay, so living. What if that family was the Flintstones? What, the family, <laughs> they just, that just saved Yeah, them. oh, that was, you know, they just, they took that kid, and then the Rubbles adopted him. <laughs> this bam bam. <laughs> well, they had, but they had three kids, yeah, so that no. makes sense. They killed the others and ate them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they weren't good enough. <laughs> they had a one-child policy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Child was getting too big. So, so in, okay, let's just let's go a little bit further. <laughs> just, let's just keep drawing this out because we can, you got so many different things you can talk about in this movie. And next week, I don't care what we're going to do, we're going to watch adult movies and we're going to be talking about some adult shit. <laughs> Sorry, this is two cartoon moves in a row. It really is. <laughs> what so the hell? Did. Wait, we didn't even watch Creed. We shouldn't be watching that. We shouldn't be actually right. watching the Rocky anthology. And I thought about asking you for that, but I'm like, I would have to sit down and watch all 12 hours of this damn yeah. movie. <laughs> and I would like to. I want to. And I was Me like, too. I, I want to. Oh, all I'm room like, room. I want to, Chris, because I want to watch Creed, but then for some odd reason, I want to watch all of the Rockies just because. <laughs> Because, oh my goodness, think about that. If you watch one Rocky, and then you watch them all, and then you go watch Creed. Because yeah. I heard it's like... I had something really sad. I was in the bathroom, you know, just minding my own business. Oh, and I had these really? people come in through, and they're uh, talking about Creed. Oh, and they're like, I didn't realize it was a Rocky movie. Until it started. And I'm like... Did you fucking take them and did, beat their head into a freaking I toilet? To. I wanted to so bad. I'm like... I would have I just flushed it down the toilet. Like, get a, what do you call that when you <laughs> jump somebody's uh, head in the toilet? Uh, swirly. Yeah, swirly. Like, you didn't know. I would have got all. I would have got all Batman with him. You didn't know. Did <laughs> swirly. Like the fucking posters. <laughs> yeah, he had Rocky right there. Right. So. <laughs> Did you just go and be like, oh, it must be a movie about my own creed. <laughs> He's taking it no. literally. <laughs> Like, what the hell is your problem? <laughs> Somebody should beat you to death. <laughs> you ignorant fool. <laughs> uh, yeah. We need to see Creed. I know. I'm going to see you next week, though. Right. Uh, that's on my thing. I got, like, uh, this week was totally... Uh, uh, either this week or next week, but... Oh, I might see it tonight. Oh, uh, we'll see what happens. But I really kind of want to watch all the Rockies. I don't know, right? You're the only person with it. I don't know, right? Um, I 
I just have to. I have to be ready. I really it, want to do it. Might bring it. Will you watch them? See, that's the thing. I want to be sure that I'm going to sit and watch all these movies because I want to do it. Yeah, but it's like so long. I just. I wish. Like back in the day, I used to get off work and just come home and then I watch something. But nowadays, I get off work and I sit here. But <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Um. So. Um. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to have something else for you guys next week. No, no cartoons. We'll try to mix it up. Maybe we, we need to do something else. Like this, that, and the other. Mix it up. We haven't brought in like funny news stories in a while. I know. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think so maybe. news has been sad. Uh, it's been very it's sad. Been sad. And that's why it's our duty to uplift people with some weird shit. Yeah, that's true. Like the boy who climbed a 50-foot tree and got stuck. <laughs> I, was, I read all this shit every day. Every day. He climbed this 50-foot tree. 50 foot tree. Like, and, and he, was, he was just too He was just stuck at, yeah, he was just stuck at the top. He's, and his mom was like, oh, he does that every day. He all, he's always climbing that tree, but most times he come down. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and that little fucker was just sitting there like, yep, this is my life. <laughs> like, like, he's looking down. He didn't even try. He's just basically just sitting there like, he wasn't crying or anything. He, he, it's it's kind of like he just, he just he just achieved it. He's like, okay, I'm okay with this now. Like, I'm okay with just being up here because this is how I did this to myself. I shouldn't have done it. I knew I shouldn't have stopped, but, you know, I'm so adventurous, but, oh, well. I'm just going to kick it here because he wasn't, like, crying. He wasn't yeah. stirring. He was just kind of just chilling, like, I'm accepting my fate right now. I made a horrible <laughs> Yeah, he's like, I'm just here. It was so funny watching this look at this picture, you know, because you see it from far away, and then you can, you guys can go find this picture at the Huff, Huffington Post. So type in "boy gets stuck in tree," and uh, as you just did, you see the like grainy close up. It's just this kid just sitting there, like, yeah. <laughs> "Mama told me at the club this time, <laughs> I would listen. I would listen." Fate has dealt me the card I cannot accept. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor kid! I was just like, I was looking at that. I'm like, fuck that! I would have killed myself because <laughs> I couldn't go up that far. I couldn't even go up maybe ten feet without like vertigo setting in. It would be like totally like that damn movie Vertigo. He just, like, and I just start freaking out, <laughs> like grabbing on the tree again. <laughs> like look at that tree hugger. <laughs> hey. Is that a nigger? No, it's a nigger in the tree. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> I'm not allowed to get away with it. I'm black, bitch. <laughs> I can say the fuck I won't. I am. Who's the blackest one here? Me or Jerry? Anything else? <laughs> I'm Chris. Uh, the squeaky voice guy. Um, Chris Tucker. I don't know. I'm getting killed in fifth element. Oh, that that weird ass costume. Right. Like, like a giant fucking dick on his head, bro. Like, what the hell? Who designed this? And why did you sign off on it? You know what? I'll wear that. You know what? I like this guy. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> you make his weapon worse with us? <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. All right. <laughs> that, was your, that was your funny story for today, you guys. See, that's why I like the funny stories because so funny. Yeah, really so let's just bring it next week. Let's do that. Yeah, let's bring it. Let's do it. We're going to do this, that, and the other. This is our first this, that, and the other of this series. You know, yeah. we had the old series before. But, like, okay, I wanted to ask you this. This is totally off topic, so, you know, whatever, people. Uh, we can talk about it. You can click off right now if you want. Um, if you haven't already. <laughs> and, if you, already. and if you have, then shit. Oh, well. Because you're not even listening to this What's right now. Chris is Chris <laughs> Uh, I would have clicked on there too because it was pretty bad. <laughs> no, that's a perfect perspective. I'll check you. But, uh, well, the Sleepy Cats. So, like, did they kind of restart it? Because I was like, it's, oh no, it's season two. It's season two. Never mind, yeah. man. Okay, I got. Dude, how do you feel about doing seasons? You know, I, I think that's a pretty cool idea. You know, you take a break. Yeah. You get, you know, stuff, you know, get other stuff ready, get some or stuff. Or do ready, other, work you know? on other things. Yeah. Because, like, during, when they did the first season, they were working on stuff. Yeah. You know, they yeah, all had full-time, like, almost all of them had full-time jobs, and all of them were doing, you know, other things. 
you know, like uh, Johnny Utah and Corey Spaskid were working on a game, which I still don't know what game it is. Oh, yeah. And um, what's it called? Uh, Chris O'Neill and Psychic Pebbles. They were working on Hellbenders, a cartoon series they're making. And I don't know what Nile does. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> and I don't know what Stanford's doing. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you don't have anything else, sir. Yeah. I'm, I'm up more Stamper on Sleepy Cast. He hasn't been on an episode yet. Yeah, you get episode. Um, you guys can go to you know iTunes, look up Sleepy Cast. Or I think it's on actually SoundCloud as well. Sounds like too, yeah. You know, Sleepy Cast like Podcast. Through, uh, if you guys are a fan of Newgrounds, it's... If you remember Newgrounds, it's similar to that humor. Yeah. <laughs> They're really like, off the cuff. guys from Newgrounds. <laughs> very, very off the cuff. Rated really explicit. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, very. Very, um, very funny, though. Yeah. They're, they're, they're funny. Um, so, Chris, Tucker is going to sign us off right now. I know. Superman, come save me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, good dance will be good, but not great. I don't know what I'm doing. What happened to my career? That is totally your Chris Tucker. <laughs> Where were you going with that, bro? What happened to my career? <laughs> I was going somewhere with Jackie Chan. They're doing next, next Friday, or the Friday, last Friday, right? Yeah, are they? Uh-huh, I heard they were doing last Friday. I heard they were doing Barbershop 3. I didn't hear about Yeah, they had that. I had the poster for yeah, those. That one, that one has a trailer also. Yeah, last Friday they're supposed to be doing it. I think they... So. They oh, said yeah, it. I they agreed. That. I remember. It was right after it was like Compton came Compton, out. Yeah. yeah, everyone's like, "Oh, we're gonna do this now." So, yeah, but the last, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I only like Friday one. I only like it if they had like kids and stuff, you know, yeah. or something. But I don't want to see them doing the I same old thing. Back. Yeah, I know, right? Wouldn't that be dope? What's he gonna be doing? You know, because he's a really. Oh, Shay like Jackson him. Jr. Yeah, I liked him a lot. He's damn I'm good. Sure Very damn I'm wondering what he's gonna do next. Yeah, you know? I'm waiting for that DVD. Right? I oh think everybody is waiting for that DVD to come out. I hope they come out with the DVD and soundtrack content. Oh, that would be yeah. a really good yeah. idea. They, Did you, you ever know. listen to Compton? What? The Dr. Dre album? I've heard Go it. Go buy that. Oh, it's pretty damn yeah. good. It's great. It's a great album. It's very. Mm-hmm. It's what we were waiting for, you know, all these years. We didn't get, like, you know, the Chronic. What was the Chronic? Or after the Chronic, was that um, something else? God, I can't remember what. Yeah. Like the chronic, the uh, recipe, the remedy. I don't freaking know. All right, you guys. <laughs> well, that's been talking with Burritos. Episode 21. So with... it's 20. It's 21. I said you 21. Said I said 21. I said 21. How much you want to bet? Oh, I, How much you want to bet? We'll listen back. $5. We'll listen I back. $5. I got $5 too. Put your money down. I said down 21. Put your money where you can. I don't like is. giving away money. Yeah. Plus, I messed up before. You're too much of a wuss about this. I give you $5 and Monopoly money. I don't want to lose it because I know sometimes I do mess up. So, I'm not even worried about I'm unsure, but I know I said 21. All right, you guys. Oh, that's all. Talking with Rito's episode 21. I am Jerry, JJ Wayne Graham. And I'm Christopher the Rupal. And that's our rap, but not a burrito. Jerry can't put his money where his mouth is. I sure didn't. <laughs> the five dollars is like Big Mac. Meal. You know, five dollars. Okay, let me tell you a story. <laughs> all right, you guys. We're going after apps right now. After, I'm gonna tell you a story. I have a problem when walking into stores. Yeah. And walking out without not, without something. Right, I had that problem too. Do you? I don't like going in and out with nothing. Because it makes me see it's, it makes you seem suspicious, right? Yeah, exactly. Like you're walking around, you're looking at things, and yeah, maybe you know, because maybe I just didn't find what the hell I want. Like yesterday, yeah. I went into the Sports Authority, right? And I was looking for a one pound pound and a half weight mm-hmm. because I have a weight and it's too, too it's too heavy. I'm looking for a pound and a half, it's not for weight. Let's go. What the hell, a pound and a half gonna do, man? <laughs> Right, you just oh, put it on a pound and a half. Well, just put on fucking three pounds and weigh it out, bruh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or lessen the weight on the other end and then put something heavier so you even it out. Come on. One pound weights, I don't understand it. Unless you're just uh, a baby. And, you know, you listen weights. And I can understand that too. for, uh, what's it called? Um, physical therapy. Yeah, yeah, that's true too. But, um... I was looking for a one pound weight, and I knew they had them. I knew they had them somewhere. I don't. I know Walmart used to have like a little one pound, one half pound, pound and a half weight. And so, you know, my wife bought one. You know, it's cool. It's like a two and a half, almost three. And I have a three. And it's like, oh, it's just too heavy for this like little stabilizer thing I built right there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm like, Ugh. so I'm looking in there. So I'm walking around. Da, 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 da. 
I was just like, oh, okay, well, they don't have it. And for some reason, I just couldn't walk out. I was like, oh, these people just saw me walk in, and I'm just walking around, and maybe I look suspicious. And I'm like, oh, so, so it is, I, I, it's the holidays, and so I what did I do? Okay. Because I'm black, but yeah, I'm, I know. I look kind of trashy, honestly. Yeah. Not well, always, but awesome. Well, I didn't have on my best, you know, uh, uh, attire. Yeah. I was just like, kind of like, it's basically, you know, my sweatpants and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So like, I'm like, they look at me and they're like, yeah, you told me come you look at it, steal things from us. But and so I find this athletic sleeve for your arm, right? Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, because I see that it's five dollars. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I get to this um checkout, it's fifteen dollars. Oh. And I don't want this fucker. I don't want it. I just buy it so that you won't look at me like I'm funny. Like I just walked in and out of your store and I didn't find anything, which is which is totally just happens. You know, you could do that. You can walk into a store and walk out, but I don't know why I always had this feeling that I can't do that. I always feel guilty not buying something. You always feel like you're being watched for it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because it didn't the other day, too. I was, I think I was in Walmart, and this guy just kind of saddles up next to me, alongside of me, or behind me. I'm just like, this motherfucker watching me? Because I'm about to whoop his ass real quick. Or well, ask him a question, but then I was like, Jerry, you just can't assume him. So I'm going to say, I will as you. It's like watching you because you know how they have a lot of secret shoppers in there, yeah, especially like, around the holidays. Yeah, my brother so, used to work there. Actually, he used to work as oh. like, uh, like the they would just wear normal yeah, attire. Yeah, yeah. You know? And so this guy just kind of just comes up behind me. And I'm like, you looking at? I'm looking at pins. You're looking at like um, children's paints. <laughs> I'm like this something ain't right here. It, you know, it's utterly you can't be doing that. But if you watch, oh, um, I just wanted to say something. But it's just like. Because then, then I was just angry. I was, but Walmart. I walk out of Walmart. I don't give a fuck about nobody there. But um, but um, <laughs> but, um yeah. I'm, I'm like eyeballing this cat. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna go over here and see if he follows me. He didn't follow me, but you know, it's just I just see it just seemed weird, and I just wanted to hit him. Yeah. And I, I got really upset. I'm like, this motherfucker better not be trying to watch me. I'm just looking at pins, bro. I'm trying to freaking write you into the ground. Stupid ass, not literate motherfucker. So, um, no, this is me. Uh, but, yeah. So, yeah, I had that problem too. I didn't know anyone else had that. Yeah, I gotta go as well. I gotta get something. <laughs> yeah, I used to like, yeah, you would like Walgreens sometimes. Uh, I was just walking in like, oh, God, I was just buy this piece of candy or something. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know, yeah, I bought something to see. Yay. <laughs> uh, so, and then like, even then when I bought that sleeve thing, he opens up the package and he takes it out. They actually put embedded like those little clips yeah. inside of the package, you know, because uh-huh. I guess they're like, people do steal those. They're an easy thing to steal if you yeah. think about it. But, yeah, I'm going to have my wife take that back. So, <laughs> I don't want this damn thing. <laughs> if it was $5, I would I was keep it. What, it was in, like, a $5 one? No, just... maybe I just didn't see the one, I think. <laughs> I just saw five and I took it. <laughs> Your social anxiety just kicked in. <laughs> yeah. I see a five. Yeah, I seriously. Just the one. I just saw five and I was just like, okay, got this. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, I didn't have the nerve to be like, oh, that's 15. I don't want it. Walk out. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, okay, that's after that's the podcast. We're talking with Burrito. We just gave you some supper, y'all. So, <laughs> we gave you some uh, sight. Yeah, well, you get, yeah, if you guys want a little bit more, go to talkingwithburritos.com. Or you can go visit us on Facebook at Talking Burrito. Or, or just at, you know, Facebook Talking with Burritos. Slash talking with burritos. I don't like saying at because at talking burritos is your Twitter handle. Yeah. So you guys can go there. You can visit the Rupal at the Rupal. He tweets some funny things about uh, some guy who likes to listen to <laughs> Smash Mouth. Smash Mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't be over the age of twenty, over the age of eighteen, and like Smash, Smash Mouth <laughs> unironically. <laughs> you get a taste of music <laughs> by that point. You gotta grow. <laughs> Somebody once <laughs> told me. Oh, you gotta grow and just go back in time. Listen to some Bob Dylan or some Johnny Cash. Yeah, Get your life. Get your life right, man. Put away the Smash Mouth. Don't listen to the Shrek soundtrack. <laughs> it's all done. It's over with, y'all. <laughs> that is Nickelback. It's over. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I swear a bunch of grandmas just bought that for their grandkids thinking they'd like it. And that's the only reason why they're number, why they're number one. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's the podcast for this week. See you later. Hey, thank you for listening.